गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द सेम चैप्टर दैट इज ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड कम्युनिकेशन लेट एस लर्न द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन द फर्स्ट वन इज एक्सटेंडिंग ट्रेड एंड नेटवर्क एज द ट्रांसपोर्ट डेवलप द ट्रेड टू विल डेवलप एज द बाइंग एंड सेलिंग ऑफ द गुड्स बिकम एक्सेबल ड्यू टू द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन नेक्स्ट इज रैपिड इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन like the transport is developed industries too will develop as there are proper route which connect the important places in that region even the industrial location will develop more in this region next is availability of employment opportunities now as there are industrialization taking place on a higher rate in this region due to transportation as a result people will get employment opportunities right from the laborers drivers to the higher manager post next is regional connectivity regions can be connected well to each other due to the transportation like the railways roadways as they are developed well and they connect the regions as a result there will be a regional connectivity the next one is the utility of the site due to the transport the improvement are made in the region and also it facilitate the development of that region due to transportation are well developed the utility of the site will increase too next is overcoming scarcity as the transportation are well developed as a result there won't be a scarcity of any of the goods food grains or vegetable or any other goods or commodities because it is due to the transportation the roadways or railways or the waterways are well developed as a result it could not cause any scarcity for any of the things in any region next one is decreasing regional imbalance students due to the developed transportation facilities and due to this the goods and services will be equally available to all the developed as well as the undeveloped regions as a result it will decrease the regional imbalance last one is tourism development if the transportation facilities are well developed in a region at such places the tourism is developed the most students before we proceed with the topic communication let's get information about the green corridor and roro service what is a green corridor it happens that sometimes a dead person has donated his organs in such cases such organs need to be transported from the donor's location to the receiver's urgently for this organ transfer all types of routes are cleared of all obstacles this is called green corridor so green corridor it is a special route that is managed in a way that is uh, all the traffic signals that come in the routes of a hospital wherein the organs is harvested that is a surgical procedure in which the organs are removed from the donor's body like kidney or liver or pancreas and they are sent to the hospital where the transplantation has to be done that is where the organs are to be transplanted so while adopting the green corridor method all the red signals on the ways are skipped thereby it speed up the traveling time by several minutes that is enough to save someone's life now let's get some information about roro service roll on roll off transport in this transportation the loaded trucks are directly carried by railway wagons to the destination as you can see in the picture so this first roro service in india was run by kokan railway uh, because kokan railway passes through the tough terrains of india and the truck drivers found it extremely difficult to drive loaded trucks through the ghats through the undulating surface and narrow roads and also through the poor weather condition due to this the kokan railway came up with the concept of roro transport this is a cheaper also because the freight transport by the truck is costlier than the railways it reduces the pollution and also save fuel and time too here in this picture you can see the ship that is roll on roll off ship air are cargo ship which are designed to carry the cargo such as uh, uh, cars or the trucks or the trailers so this way the roll on roll off has helped the both railways roadways and the waterways 
now let's proceed to learn about the communication as you all know communication is a process by which information is exchanged between individual like transportation communication is also a basic infrastructure here in this picture you will find that various means of communication which are used to share knowledge with each other so exchange of information is an important process in this era it is due to the man made satellite that there are a lot of development made into the field of communication if we talk about the phase uh, where man made satellite has been used or because of the man made satellite various progress and development are made the first thing is that when we talk about exchange of messages through mobiles as we all know that what is the importance of mobile in today's life it has become the necessity now for exchange of messages through mobiles are possible through satellite watching programs on tv whether it is about getting the update information regarding the climatic change not only this but the man made satellites had uh, uh, facilitated the remote sensing technology remote sensing technology is a technology of obtaining information regarding any place or any object without actually direct contact with it it is called as the remote sensing now in this technique information regarding the earth surface is obtained through the aerial photography or the satellite sensors such information is used to study the natural resources also so through the technology the images are taken in order to study the resources on earth surface and helps in regional planning so in today's age of internet and social media man made satellites are indispensable so in the modern time the mobile phones internet facilities and social media this have become an important part of our life it is not a comfort or luxury now it has become necessity of our life during the time of covid situation we all must have experienced how much necessary these things in our life the social media smartphone the internet facilities etc during this time we all must have realized that these all things are part of our life now mobile phones this has become an important gadget useful to the people of all the generation the introduction of a smartphone is uh, on the rise even amongst the people of older generation the modern generation in fact are quite familiar with the smartphone many apps can be installed on the smartphone and hence the phone can be used for conversation and also you have a video call you can have a whatsapp or you can send sms email facebook skype many of the ways of communication you can have through this even our government is incentivizing that is encouraging the citizens of our nation to use online trading or doing the payment online money transfer for which many apps are used on mobile phones now they are being developed like many of them must have used bheem app or sbi app through this it becomes very easy to pay the bills sells the things buy the things and carry carry out many transportation through uh, such apps now communication facilities are developed on large scale now it is not only limited just to talk on telephone or sending the message but even now it has become possible to have a video conferencing now so after having so many advantages internet facilities mobiles and various online trading transportation from various apps we come to one confusion that all these facilities in this modern era they have become a part and parcel of our life just like every coin has two sides same way we can say that in case of modern means of communication though these facilities made our life comfortable convenient and entertaining but we should be aware about the crimes that are happening around us like website and email hacking hacking is an attempt to exploit computer system many frauds are made theft attacks are made wars and terrorism so many crimes can take place along with it these are possibilities of threat like theft of information not only the economic theft or economic fraud but even the theft of information attacking important websites that you all must have heard about the cyber attacks 
इवन इन दिस इमेज यू कैन सी दिस इज बेसिकली एन इंटरएक्टिव मैप क्रिएटेड बाई नॉर्थ कॉपरेशन दिस इज शो इन रियल टाइम ग्लोबल साइबर अटैक इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कलरफुल रेजर बीम ईच लेजर बीम इज अ रियल अटैक वट यू सी इन द इमेज एंड द कलरफुल लेजर बीम इज रिप्रेजेंट द टाइप ऑफ अटैक दैट इज हैपनिंग एट दिस टाइम एंड बिलो द मैप इन दिस टेबल शोज द कंट्री ओरिजिन फॉर ईच अटैक द टारगेट सिटी एंड ऑल्सो द सर्विस दैट इज बींग अटैक All you can see in this map given in your textbook, page number eighty six. So this is the clear image of North attack map. So whenever we are using the social networking site, that time we have to be cautious and we have to take some precautions while use them. Because as I told you, every coin has a two sides. Now it is up to us how do we use it. We should not share any of our personal information to anyone until and unless we feel that this quite safe. Next thing we should not share any of the sensitive information related to any religion or social group or any community also when you are not sure about any of the news then we should not share such a type of information which are not authentic at all also personal information should not be shared like many of the people have a habit whatever thing happens in their life they share it on the social networking site this should be totally avoided if we follow all the things then definitely using the social networking site is going to be helpful to us and here we end the chapter i hope students you all have understood this chapter well thank you